<laughs> once you practice enough to get proficient with that gun, and you can practice with your right low. Sure. But once you're up against that attacking grizzly bear, you all right, I'm going to show y'all how to eat some buffalo. So I'm, at, I'm starting at the top of my rib, and I see these my little bones here. Knowing there might be bones in it, you keep that fish to the front of your mouth or the middle to the front. But if you get it to the back of your mouth and you're chewing to the back, your tongue in a split second you'll automatically swallow and that bone will be down there. So keep that fish to the front. Once again, these are those Y, y bones, the fan bones. They're going to be in this piece of the buffalo. Break that off. You can eat your skin if you want. You don't want that skin, you just peel it off. You got your belly fat at the bottom if you want that oily shit. You got the black, the dark, the dark skin of the buffalo. Now this is the rib. Once you know the anatomy of the fish, you now you can go through some pieces, some places. Rib bone. Another bit of bone. And I'm feeling with my tongue in my mouth as I'm eating this. And you may feel bone in your mouth. It's not a long bone. And you go ahead and swallow it. It's a little, it's a little bone. It ain't gonna hurt you. And that bigger piece, even in a piece of buffalo this small, you might have, have bones in it. So just don't go throwing it in your mouth. Keep it to the middle, to the front of your mouth. Until you know. Until you're good enough to know that, hey, I can follow this. And this is what people on YouTube don't show you. They don't show you eating the fish. I mean, there's a technique to everything. Boom. Hot sauce, huh? Right. Now this piece here, there's gonna be a lot of bones in this piece. Why? And you can break it apart.
I was good on that piece. And remember, if you get a small buffalo, you're going to have a lot smaller bones. The bigger the fish, the bigger the bone. Okay, so this piece right here. Boom. So you can see that buffalo bone. Small piece of fish, hot sauce, let's see. Bone, bone, and look at this bone, boy. that's that fan I was talking about. The bones is fanning out like that, you don't want that. Now that time a bone stuck in my tongue. Very sharp bones. But that's how you eat a buffalo. Slow. Oh, and easy. Nice piece of white, white meat there. But does it have bones in it? Mm-hmm. Boom. And a small piece of fish like that. You can have something that'll choke the hell out of you. But it tastes good and it is good. Mmm. Bones. Go for my ribs now. With that buffalo rib. I like the skin on my fish, but at the same time, I don't eat all of that. Buffalo rib. Mm. On the buffalo rib, there ain't no small bone. Still want to be careful, but there ain't no small bones in there. 
That's his big long rib bone. Mmm. Flavor, boy. Got your meat. Good bone. Gotta have that hot sauce, man. Don't know what it is. Mm. Mm. As I tell people, you gotta know how to eat buffalo. Mm. Gotta know how to prepare buffalo. There's a science to all of this right here. And I see so many people talking bad about this fish. I'm like, man. If you're starving, <laughs> and you piece of buffalo, I'm like, yeah, let me take that. Mm. You break it into pieces as you eat. may come across a piece of fat you don't want. But yeah, in short, when you eat your buffalo, Take your time, enjoy the flavor, enjoy the hunt for the bone because it's going to have bones in it, but enjoy that, that's part of the experience. After you sorted it out in your mouth, go ahead and swallow. Because as you're eating this, you're inspecting the meat. So watching this guy called uh, Cornelius Catfish Tom on YouTube. That brother there, man, he be throwing back all types of good fish. He caught a gar, a little baby gar the other day and threw it away. I'm like, come on, man. Threw it back into the Missouri or the Mississippi. Where I come from, we eat everything we catch. If it's 
legal limit, we keeping it. He caught an alligator guard, didn't know how to you gotta you, you you gotta shoot it in the head or immobilize it somehow. Cause it got the alligator snout on it, which is why it's called alligator guard. The skin of it is hard. You gotta take wire snips and cut the skin off of it. Or a grinder blade. Depending on how old it is. But had I been with Cornelius on that river, I would have kept that fish, man. That fish was as, as long as his leg is. All white meat. All white meat, man. And once again, it's one of those fish that people are scared of. They throw it back. They don't eat it. They don't even attempt to eat it. I'm like, come on, man. Y'all throwing away the good shit. <laughs> but he keep that catfish, though, because that's what he's about. It's a catfish chop. But even if I'm fishing for catfish, and they catch me a buffalo, a gar, whatever, come on that line, I'm eating it, man. That's the hillbilly in me. We gonna eat. May not do what you want, but what you got. Now this piece of fish right here. Small piece. Once again. People don't eat buffalo because of that right there. I gotta get me some more hot sauce, y'all. Mmm. Now this fish is good. They don't need hot sauce. I just, I'm just eating hot sauce on my fish. But you got your dark meat, white meat on a buffalo. Do some hot sauce. I buy multiple bottles. <laughs> Small piece of fish, gonna have some bones in it. Bone. Bone. Basically, you're using your tongue and your mouth to search for needles. Because that's what they are, needles. I'm trying to get stuck in my gum where I ain't got no teeth. I've had to use tweezers and go in there and pull out a buffalo bone. And it didn't stop me from eating that buffalo though. Slow me down for a minute, but I cut it out. And he went back to eating. Now some of those bones are so small you can go ahead and swallow them. that belly fat I don't too much mess with it but it's a fatty piece of the buffalo it's just fat grease of fat
that's how you eat buffalo fish. Slowly, methodically. Mmm. Mmm. Good eat. Now I had about four pieces of buffalo on, on my a plate. After eating buffalo, this is what your plate's gonna look look like. It should have a bone pile. With all them bones in there. But the flavor of this fish, the hardiness of this fish, is worth all that. The taste and the flavor of that fish is worth all that to me. Whew. So for the folks out there that don't know nothing about a buffalo, once again, you don't fillet buffalo. Cut it in the steaks. Gut it and cut it in the steaks. Of course, the wider the steak, the more bones. As you process your buffalo and chop it up, you're gonna break bones. So that's why you have those bits and pieces. Like I had a rib bone that was broke. Just because I was eating the rib bone or, or the piece of the rib, you don't wanna go crazy because the rib bone might be broken So that's the rib bone. You don't want to go rushing because if that bone is broken, you just don't want to be throwing that meat down your throat because it got some piece of bone in it. But yeah. That's buffalo fish eating, man. I've showed you how to fry it. I've showed you how to eat it. So... Any of those YouTube videos y'all see with people dogging buffalo saying, hey, it's a trash fish, it's this or that. It's trash because it ain't sold on a commercial market. Not like catfish. That's a real fish. Come out the water. Wild caught. Not farm raised. You don't want farm raised fish. They're pushing that on you, but you don't want farm raised. You want wild caught fish out the natural environment that's what you want to eat just like pigs you got commercial hogs people eating pork daily bacon all this once you taste a wild boar or wild pig or a javelina you ain't going back to the gro to the grocery store man you're going hunting or you're going to go look for somebody that does hunt and get some of that wild boar or that wild pig or the javelina, because that's some good eating. Whatever the U.S. government don't touch is good eating. Whatever the United States government does not touch, it's good eating. Out.